Hello, I'm David and you're watching Cruise Show UK. We're on a 14 night ultimate Norway cruise with nine ports of call. In this video, we're gonna talk all about shore excursions. Should you book with the cruise line or can you do it yourself? Let's find out. So we've arrived in our second port of call, Sholden and today we have booked an independent tour. We're gonna to go stand up paddle boarding around this beautiful fjord, and I'm gonna show you how we booked it. We found this operator online. There was lots of different activities available. The prices were good, and they are located just a short distance from where the ship docks. Good morning. From Sholden in Norway, we are paddle boarding on the fjord. It's quite cold, ice cold water, we're crazy. The scenery here in Sholden was absolutely beautiful and being out in the middle of the fjord on the paddleboard is something that I will remember for a very long time. This is one of the best um, tours or excursions I've done. It was such a lot of fun, uh, very relaxing, so peaceful out on the fjord. I don't think you can experience it any other way. So if you're able to, I highly recommend you do the stand-up paddleboard. Although I haven't yet stood up um, because, as I said before, the water is freezing and I know I would end up here. So we finished our paddle boarding adventure and uh, we've hired some e-bikes for the afternoon from the same uh, rental place. Uh, it was 450 knock um, per bike, uh, which is about £35. Um, so a little bit expensive, but it's well worth it. And they are e-bikes, so they do help you out quite a lot with the assistance. You can just hire regular bikes, and I'll put the prices on, on screen for that. This is the reason you hire a bike. You can really get off the beaten path and get real close to this dramatic scenery. It's fantastic. If you come to Sholden, I highly recommend you hire the bikes. You can hire them just along from where the ship docks. It's a good job um, our cameras are all digital now. Can you imagine the rolls of film you would get through on a trip to Norway? Today we're in beautiful Olden and it's a very dramatic port with the mountains right behind there and we are going to Brixdal Bren Glacier and we are going to take the local regular bus rather than doing the tour from the ship one of the tour buses so this is just a regular local bus um, it takes about 40 minutes to get there apparently and we're going to show you uh, how to do it so we've arrived at the start of our hike to the Brixdor Green Glacier. Uh, the bus ride was about 30-40 minutes. Absolutely stunning. Probably the best bus ride I've ever taken in my life. So picturesque. You must do it. Um, and oh, it's just beautiful everywhere you look. It's stunning. It costs 56 knock per person to get here and we've arrived just before 11 and the bus to go back is at half past one. So we've got a couple of hours. So we've finished our hike. It took about 40 minutes, I would say, to get up here. Very strenuous to get to the top, uh, but a stunning hike and well worth it when you get here. It's breathtaking. I highly recommend that you do this. Um, so much better than booking one of the shore excursions from the ship, which are very expensive. And I just don't think you'd get this, this experience. Today we're in Trondheim in Norway, and we're going to use the city bikes to self-explore the city. Um, so you download an app on your phone, and it costs 59 knock for a day pass. And you get the bike for an hour, and uh, there's lots of stations like this dotted around the city you have the bike for an hour then you have to take it back to one of the stations but then you can check out another bike for an hour block throughout the day 
um, and you have it for, for the whole day that you're here. Um, it's a good way to explore the city and it doesn't cost very much. So this afternoon in Trondheim we've switched over to the e-scooters, so a different mode of transport. Very, very cheap and efficient way of getting around this city. It was 119 knock for a day pass. It's well worth it. They're a lot of fun, very easy to use and very safe as well. Trondheim and throughout Norway I've noticed they are really set up for bikes and e-scooters so you'll have no problem, it's very safe. This morning we're in a very chilly Honningsvag in Norway and we've arranged an independent tour with a company called Blue Puffin to take us to the North Cape. It was 1289 Krona and there's lots of different stops along the way and then the final destination of the uh, North Cape at the end. I really enjoyed looking around this gallery here uh, just in a small little village outside of Honningsvag and uh, made a little purchase uh, some really good uh, artwork in there and she's a lovely artist in there, Ava uh, talks you through how she makes them all it's really really good, I recommend coming here we've made it to the top of the world where we're enjoying the Arctic summer in the North Cape we're in the visitor centre at the North Cape and it's quite, I guess it's quite a touristy place but it's quite stylish the way they've done it um, there's a great gift shop here and there's a little restaurant here as well and uh, uh, I've just ordered some of these uh, freshly made waffles with jam and sour cream it smells delicious really good mm. We've arrived at our next port of call, which is Tromso, and we took the local bus from the port into the city centre. Uh, the, the bus stop is just outside the port, and you need bus number 42. We bought a day pass, which cost us 100 knock, or you can buy a single ticket for 37 knock. Just one word of advice though, you will need to bring uh, Norwegian Krona. Uh, because they don't take card on the bus and they don't take euro um, so they only accepted Norwegian krona in cash uh, which caught a lot of people out or there is one other way that you can uh, get a ticket and that's by downloading uh, the app mobile app and buying the ticket on there which is what we do um, but there was quite a lot of people that um, were turned away because they uh, uh, didn't have Norwegian krona we spent some time exploring the town before heading to Pepe's Pizza to catch bus number 26 out to the cable car. So bus number 26 will bring you right here and drop you off here for the cable car and then it's a very short walk to get to the foot of the cable car. Good morning from Gravdol in the Lofoten Islands and this morning we've hired some bicycles again. Um, you can hire them uh, it, the tourist information just as you get off the tender here it's 300 knock for a regular bike and 600 knock for an e-bike and we're just going to see where the road takes us today and explore these islands so we've cycled about seven miles to the other side of the peninsula where the ship is uh, to a place called Vic Beach absolutely beautiful just very very cold here but it's uh, yeah kind of a scene a lovely beach good morning from Ollison where we've booked an independent uh, excursion today out to Grangerfjord uh, we're taking a catamaran all the way out there it's three hours to get there and then we've got a couple of hours in Grangerfjord and then three hours back and we go to three different fjords so uh, it should be really really good um, to get to the boat it's just outside the terminal. You've got our, the ships just there and our catamaran is just over there. So we are on the catamaran taking us to Granger Fjord and so far I've been really, really impressed. Uh, the catamaran is brand new and uh, the scenery is stunning as ever. And I think it's really good value. It was 1,410 knock, um, but it is an eight hour tour, um, three hours to get to Granger Fjord winding our way through all the different fjords two hours actually at the destination and then three hours back um, but it's very relaxing very clean on board the ship there's a small cafe downstairs i'll put the prices on the screen for you the menu items um, yeah it's great 
There's also an audio guide as well um, in different languages, um, which they give you as part of the tour. Um, and there's no narration telling you about all the scenery and features along the way. Good morning, we're on our way to Haugesund where we've got a full day tour booked independently of the ship out to Langefoss uh, waterfalls but the tour operators just uh, emailed us to say that um, the ship is arriving two hours late and so it's not enough time to do the tour so they've issued us with a full refund um, they let us know even before the ship did um, so we're quite disappointed with that, I was really looking forward to it, it looked a really good tour um, but I just think that it's important that if you have got independent tours booked that uh, you make sure that there is some sort of cancellation uh, protection. If you're new to my videos please subscribe it really helps me out and leave me a comment I read and respond to every single one of them I really like doing that um, and I've put together a playlist from Viking Cruises you should watch that one next. Until next time I will see you up on deck.